Hey everybody, we're here with a uh, quick drive unit and I thought today I would explain how you can check the clutch clearance on the clutch pack that is for the trans brake on your quick drive or your quick lock. Now obviously I have the unit out of the car upside down on the bench. It makes this process a little bit easier, but you can actually do this in the car, which is why I thought I'd make the video. So the clutch pack itself can be accessed through these slots down in the case, which are actually going to be up in the case when it's in the car underneath the filter assembly here. And what I usually do is grab an eighth inch drill bit because the go no go on the clutch pack is uh, 125 thousandths. So uh, you can take the drill bit and sort of move the frictions and the steels apart here and make yourself a gap and then insert the drill bit this direction and see if it goes all the way in. Now, it doesn't drop all the way in. It, it stops on the top edge of the friction materials because the, the OD of the friction disc is smaller than the steel right here. So it'll drop in there about three quarters of an, sorry, about a quarter of an inch, uh, but it won't go any further. And you can feel it get snug up against the friction. Now, if I shove like crazy on it, I can go ahead and ram it in there and knock the corner of the friction off, which is not the goal. Or if I try to put it in this way, it'll obviously drop right between the friction and the, and the steel, but that's not the idea. So the back end of an eighth inch drill bit, just separate the steels apart, give yourself a little gap to work from, and then you can slide the drill bit in and check the clearance, make sure that it doesn't drop all the way to the bottom. Uh, if it does, obviously the clutches are worn out and they need to be replaced. And as long as it doesn't, you know, you're good to go for another run.